So do you think killing snakes is the right idea? So what I mean by that today, about that, you guys, is why are people doing that? So hang on a sec. Hold on a second. So this is what I'm talking about, you guys. You see this? This is where I'm from. You know, you can recognize the peninsulas. Um, from Michi I'm from Michigan, so basically, you guys, this is where I'm at, right here. Just south of the Sault Ste. Marie. And I know a lot of people have told me they, they just hate snakes. They just want to kill them. They don't want to see them or touch them. I mean, I mean, come on, people. There's nothing wrong with snakes. I mean, they're animals. And you say you like animals? Snakes are animals, too. But, I mean, I know I'm not a spider person, but hey, I mean, I still love animals. But, I mean... I know people have phobias. I mean, I don't have a phobia of spiders. I just don't like, you know, touching them. That's basically it. So, um, I want to discuss about people killing snakes. What you should know, if you guys are from Michigan, you should know that, um, hold on a second. Alrighty. You guys should know, actually, that down here in the U, down here in the UP, um, there are actually quite... There are a few species of Michigan snakes that are actually either on the special concern list or the endangered species list. And one of those I want to talk about, well not talk about, I'll tell you what they are. They are the black rat snake, the eastern fox snake, the Kirtland snake, the cup-bellied water snake, uh, the smooth green snake, and of course the butler's garter snake. So what, I'm, so, what else I'm going to discuss? I'll tell you that in a second. Hey Max. What? Um, I'm gonna I want to show you a few photos here. Um, in this um, when Grandma gave me these to me, I'm not gonna show it to the audience um right now, but I will actually in a minute. All right, you can take a look at these. What do you think of that one? Disgusting. How is that disgusting? Besides, I did not like snakes. What's wrong with snakes? I'm very hairless. Okay, so what? Um, your fish were hairless. I don't care. Okay, you hear that, guys? Here's an example right here. She don't like snakes because they don't have hair on them. Well, guess what? She had pet fish, and they don't have hair either. And she should know that. I don't mind if they don't have hair on them. Okay, so we'll go on to the next photo. Take a look at this. What do you think of this one? That garter snake? No, not that one. This snake. Um, creepy. Okay, tell me why. Because it looks dark. Well, it's because it's in the shadows, Megan. Duh. Now, here's the third picture. What do you think of this snake? Um, innocence. Okay. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. I still hate them. Why do, you ha why do you hate snakes? Because we're bad luck. They're not bad luck. How are they bad luck? Because some of them are venomous. But is it, are garters, are, are these snakes that I'm holding are venomous? No. Exactly, so let's move on to the next photo. How about this one? Um, were you having fun? You're supposed to answer the question. Yeah. What do you think of this snake? Um, it looks, um, dangerous to me. Megan, that's, the snake does not have any fangs on it. It's, it's, it's a, it's a non-venomous snake. Do you think of a pedo bear? Um, uh, Meg's, okay. Go oh, get it. Hold on a second, you guys. All right, sorry about that, you guys. I just had a quick phone call there, actually, of for an appointment about my sister and I tomorrow. So anyway, um, let's get back to about why people kill snakes. Um, so basically, you know, people just have no passion about them. You know, I mean, most snakes are usually harmless animals, you guys. They're quite, I mean, picture yourself, actually. In a room with nearly, let's say a dozen snakes, garter snakes, and um, you had to be stuck in that room for approximately three hours, and you, three hours, and you actually cannot leave the room until you actually think, well, no, 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 just three hours and see what happens with the snakes, and um, let's see how all that goes. So, um, anyway, um, <laughs> what was I going to mention? Oh, oh yeah, um, I will, 
show you the photos um, that I just showed my sister just a minute ago. <laughs> this was the first one. I'm going to give you guys five things to identify that snake. Alright, moving on to the next photo. Well, here's another picture here, you guys, of me holding a pretty big snake there. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I was really shaken there when I saw that. And here is a friend of mine who's really young, at least four, maybe five years old, maybe six now. So, he got I got him to hold a garter snake that I found by the lake. And he was really, really excited about that. So... Well, I'm not going to show you all my photos, you guys. I'm not just going to waste my time showing you photos. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys just a couple photos. So, um, I'm going to go cook some pizza for dinner for me and Matthew. And I'll catch you guys later. So, you guys, that reminds me. I forgot, actually, um, to mention that um, you remember my new pet snake that I've had for probably two, possibly uh, three weeks now. It's okay. Yeah, he's a little sh cranky right now. Um, yeah, he's very, 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 very shy. So, basically, um, I have picked a name for him. And I'm about to mention it here in a second, if I can get him out. <laughs> okay, got him. So, what I wanted to mention to you guys is, I finally picked a name for him. And I decided to choose Tyson. That's right. So, say hi to the audience, Tyson. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, and last, uh, well, two weeks, weekends ago, um, unfortunately, no one cared to comment, shame on you guys, um, that give me any options of giving him a name. So, I had to make my own decisions, so, and I decided to choose Tyson, so, and as you can see, he is actually starting to become very tame in my hands now these days, so, and he has been eating really well, I'm really glad. So, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, actually, of him finally having a name. So, I'm very glad now that my new animal has a name. Okay, um, today, you guys, is... Oh, yeah. Today is Wednesday, so I just got back from the Pet Supplies Plus in the zoo. And I just bought um, a few supplies, which I'm going to show you in a second here. So, just give me a second, or whatever. Okay, start off with something basically simple. I bought the the Zilla um, Day White Light here actually with incandescent bulb, basically for any kind of pet reptile you got, whether it's a bearded dragon, or a snake, or a turtle, or well, a, a tortoise. So here are the details here for like the heating guide, measuring like in the height actually the distance from the light bulb and um, the distance from the center of the light bulb. Oh, you guys can't see that well. Sorry. So that's one side. And they recommend something like this. Unfortunately, I don't have, but I guess I have no other option. So, just wanted to show you guys one piece of that. Now, um, hold on. I finally remember I showed you guys that uh, rep the sunlight. Unfortunately, I was just two inches short for my new pet albino uh, for Tyson's cage. Well, actually, I bought another one, but this time, look closely. Um, right there it says 24 inches long, so I'm really glad it's I found what I've been looking for. I, I, it was kind of, at first I thought it was gonna be pretty difficult there, but that's why I wanted to show you. That's piece number two, and finally, last but not least, um, some aspen snake bedding from Zoomed, and this is actually a, the number one preferred snake bedding for professional um. Uh, snake keepers um worldwide so yeah this was actually pretty good it was about eight or nine dollars actually so it's it basically good for different um families of snakes like colubra days pythona days boa days or whatever you got viper days so any kind of snake family you guys can think of so um so that's what i basically wanted to show you guys so i'm gonna get later tonight see if i can get um tyson's tick cage uh set up actually for that aspen snake bedding there Success. Oh, before I wrap up today's vlog, you guys, I gotta show you one more thing before I shut down for the night. Take a look at this. Notice anything different about him? 
If not, well, he shed his skin tonight, you guys. Got really excited about that. Second one of the year. So, you guys, I want to thank you guys uh, for joining today's vlog. Make sure to smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Please, actually, you guys, leave also a comment. And I promise I'm going to see you guys next week.